Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I thought I'd do another little teeth update um, because a couple of things have changed, not an awful lot, but I just thought I'd let you guys know how um, the journey is going. If you hear a sudden noise, I've got um, a 24 hour blood pressure machine thing on uh, that I got this morning and it goes off every half an hour. So um, if it does go off, I'll stop and like, you know, just come back on when when it's finished doing its thing. So today is day 13 of having these braces on, so nearly two weeks, and it's been pretty painful, but the pain is not to do with the teeth, which is a big surprise to me. Um, the teeth themselves settled down in a couple of days, and they really, when I say the pain settled down, the pain of them moving, and the real kind of bone pain when you weren't doing anything, that settled down, but the pain when eating has stayed. So, ow, actually I just did it there. If you put your teeth together, then it really does hurt me. And that hasn't changed at all, which means that eating is still the big problem. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the kind of ulcers and irritation to the inside of your lips. And what's also happened now is I've got ulcers all over my tongue. And I'm not sure if that is just because I'm run down because you know, it's quite difficult when you're in pain. It does make you feel run down. And I'm also not having as many nutrients as I usually would because I'd normally have, you know, a dinner with vegetables and whatnot. And all I can really eat at the moment is mashed potato for my dinner. And um, breakfast isn't too bad. I'm having a porridge, no, not porridge, a yogurt when I wake up to take my painkillers with it. And then I have a porridge kind of mid-morning. Then I'm having my slim fast drink for lunchtime, which I guess has got nutrients in it, and then just some mashed potato for dinner. So there's not a huge amount of nutrients in my day, but I can really only eat things that I can, that I don't need to chew. So I've even managed to eat some chocolate buttons, which is really nice and has kind of been a highlight of my day. I can't eat them at the moment because of the ulcers now on my tongue actually make that too painful, but I could eat chocolate buttons by just letting them melt on my So tongue. yeah, that hasn't really changed. Now, people keep telling me that I will get used to that and that will change. So um, I hope it does, but I'm not, I'm not too bothered about the eating side of things because, you know, it's a good diet for me in one way. In another, I'm a bit concerned about the carbs, but like I said, in another way, it's a good diet as long as I don't eat too many buttons, I guess. Now I know with the carbs that it's only temporary, but my concern with, with eating too many carbs is I normally eat a low protein diet for really good reasons and it's because of the hormone balance but also if I eat a lot of carbs it affects everything. It makes me feel in a bad mood, it makes me not depressed but you know it makes me feel a bit down, I feel like I've got no energy, um, I feel muggy headed, my skin feels awful and breaks out so those are the things I'm concerned are happening. I haven't been too bad actually considering how many carbs I'm having, I haven't been too bad in that direction but I guess that's because I'm currently taking um, Cyproterone which is for polycystic ovary and that will probably keep it under control so if I continue to take that should be okay. So yeah so that's where I'm at with kind of eating. Now with the kind of ulcers and stuff I was using Bongella but then somebody told me you shouldn't be using Bongella because it's got sugar in it and that can rot the braces. So I'm not sure whether that's true or not but I will wait until my next appointment in two weeks and ask my dentist and see what he thinks. What I've been doing instead is using clove oil so I just get a little cotton bud and I keep this with me, I keep a little cotton bud, put a tiny bit of clove oil because it's very very strong stuff and I'm just kind of putting that, you know I get the cotton bud, there's one here like this, I just kind of put it around my mouth like that and maybe on the spots that have got um, ulcers on them and that does help because it kind of numbs it, it's kind of like an anaesthetic. So that's been very helpful. One other area of pain I forgot about actually is one of my teeth um, felt loose about probably three days after having the braces. One of my sort of teeth here feels like it's really loose and I it's weird how you remember that feeling of having a loose tooth. And I just thought, oh no, what's happened? It's made my tooth loose, it's gonna come out. But I had a look on the internet and apparently that's completely normal. And that will feel like that. And then it will kind of settle down into its new position. But of course your teeth are moving, so that's why it feels loose. But like any loose tooth, that one has hurt actually. And it has just felt like normal toothache. So that's been kind of bearable. Yeah, with the ulcers, you get given dental wax, which is basically, you to put it on the front of the braces um, and it then kind of covers it. It's like a silicone wax and it stops it rubbing against your lips. Now, this stuff has been kind of a lifesaver at some points, like the second day, was it the second day, yeah, I got one on the Friday, on Saturday morning, I was a right blooming state, because it really was rubbing, and it was a lifesaver then, because I put it on, and it was just pure heaven, because it coated them all, and you can't feel anything. But I wasn't in the mood for eating at that point, and didn't eat for a couple of days, and I barely ate anything. But, 
if you're gonna eat and you're gonna live your kind of normal day then it's really difficult with the wax because if you put it on in the morning so get up clean your teeth put it on the next time you want to eat it feel it just feels horrible having the wax on for too long it kind of makes your mouth feel a little bit kind of gungy and I don't know I just don't like the feeling you know I, I feel better without it so I can clean my teeth properly again if you have lunch with it on you're fine but you can end up kind of eating some of the wax and you keep getting little bits in your mouth so it's better to take it off so that kind of means cleaning going cleaning your teeth then coming back and having your lunch then of course I want to clean my teeth after that so going and cleaning my teeth again and then putting the wax back on and so there is an awful lot of faff because the other thing is the wax is not easy to stick to your braces and it's quite a long process to get it on all the ones that are kind of rubbing so you can imagine like putting that on in the morning putting it on again at lunchtime putting it on again in the evening there is a lot involved and that's not including any kind of snacking in between or anything and even when I have my slim fast lunch I do need to clean my teeth because the chocolate you can see kind of discolors them as for my talking I think I've got used to them being there insofar as talking I'm probably a bit worse when I'm on camera now because I guess I'm conscious of the fact that I'm on camera and when I've been doing my videos I have recorded a lot of my beauty videos but I have re-recorded them several times a lot of them I've watched the first time and gone no, I'm not putting that up or not re-recorded them several times some of them I've recorded twice but there's other videos that I've recorded but not put up because I thought oh no that's no good and I'm going to record them again um because I just look very very weird and I think like I said I think that's because the camera's on me and I suddenly become conscious for some reason I don't think I'm quite so bad like when I'm just sitting talking to although my... it does change depending on the pain I'm in um because last night I did notice I was talking very differently and that's just because the ulcers all over my tongue were really hurting um being self-conscious of it I'm still very self-conscious like you know going out and about and talking to people and I do try to I either kind of point it out because I don't want to be talking to somebody and think that they are looking, thinking, has she got something on her teeth? Um, or I just, you know, talk, try and talk without moving my lips too much so that they maybe don't notice. Um, so I'm still quite self-conscious, but I'm not really bothered about that because I know that will go, if you know what I mean. And, you know, I, know, I knew that that was going to be the case. I was expecting that and I can live with that. I just wish I could get rid of these flipping ulcers. The photos are really weird because I can't actually smile because when I smile, it actually you're not gonna better see it I don't know why I'm doing it on camera but not only is it difficult to smile but the these dig into my lips as I move and the process of smiling drags your lips against the braces but also the position that your lips are then in are quite tight and so it presses even more against the braces so smiling is not easy but not only that it doesn't really look very natural when I do smile it just looks kind of false because I guess I'm trying to do it in a way that it doesn't hurt and um, so that doesn't look very very good um, and I've noticed that in my photos when I take my makeup photos for my thumbnails it's really really difficult to take a photo because if I'm not smiling I look really miserable and also this is kind of padded out my face here and I can just see that it's kind of changed the shape of my face a little bit um, but I obviously that will go back to normal when these are taken that's off. something else I've noticed and then there's two other things makeup wise that have been affected that I didn't think would be one of them is when I put my foundation on now, I seem to be getting a moustache of foundation here. So I ended up actually waxing my lip yesterday. Now I don't have um, a problem with dark hairs on my lip or anything, but I just thought, I wonder, it's obviously because it's pushing my lip out, something's happening. Um, and in a lot of videos, I noticed I had a moustache and I had to re-record those videos. So I kind of waxed it and I'm just trying to make sure I don't put too much foundation on here. Or I don't know whether I was maybe going over with the bronzer brush. I wasn't doing anything different to I was before. But suddenly it was really noticeable and it just looked really dark my foundation on my lips so done that and see if that helps the other thing is lipstick i can't wear lipstick at all so i've bought some really long wear lipsticks that you kind of stains that you put on and they stain your lips um and i think if i could put those on and kind of hold my lips out which i might do because i've got a night out it's a party which is a, a 1920s type of theme party and i really want to do my makeup with bright red lipstick but if I put lipstick on, even if I try and avoid the inner part, it just gets all over the braces. So that's really frustrating because I've got some gorgeous lipsticks and I just feel like I look really, it's, it doesn't finish off your makeup, you know, I just feel unfinished without my lipstick on. But I'm trying to turn it around and think, well, that's something to look forward to. You know, I can look forward to using all of my lovely lipsticks in a few months. But I'm going to try and put this long stay lipstick on and kind of hold my lips away from my braces until it dries and then see if that works. I'll have to kind of test that out for one day and see how I get on. It's the um, 
it's a drugstore one, I can't remember which one it was, but I had seen it on um, Lisette Beauty's uh, channel, YouTube channel, and uh, it looked really good. And she was saying she put it on because she wanted to kiss her baby, and it, she was doing this on her hand, and it was really working, so I thought, well, I'll give that a go, and it is really, really good. But you just have to wait for it to dry and then take off the kind of gloss part because it's a lip gloss stain. So um, yeah, I think that's everything to tell you at this stage. I can't see any movement, um, but I wouldn't have it to. It's only been two weeks. I've not got another appointment until two weeks time. And that's when I think they tighten the wires. And I'm kind of nervous about that because a lot of people have told me that that really hurts. I've actually found two people that I work with that I didn't know had adult braces themselves. And they said that part is really um, painful. So we'll see what happens then. Um, and I hope that in the next couple of weeks I start to get used to these. I don't know how long it takes. My husband had braces as a teenager and he can't remember how long it t took to get used to them. I don't think I'll ever get used to eating with them. I don't think I'll ever be that comfortable eating in public because I, could, I think if the, once your lips kind of get toughened up, I will be able to eat because that's the problem is you're eating and chewing, it hurts. And I think that pain will go away with the teeth and whatnot. But I would be so paranoid about them being in my braces because I was saying to my husband, I was eating and I was saying, no, but it's stuck all in my braces. And every mouthful I wanted to go and clean my teeth, it just felt really odd. And he said, no, it's not. And I showed him and he went, oh yeah, it is. So I don't know whether these are different types of braces because he was saying he used to feel like there was stuff stuck in them and there wasn't. But with these, there is, unless it's just the way I'm eating and I'll change the way I'm I eating. I was basically saying to my husband last night that I feel like this has kind of taken the shine off of life. And that sounds really, really depressing, and it's it's not quite that bad. It just means that I feel like I'm just getting through each day to get to the next day, and I'm like, I really, really enjoy sleeping at the moment because when I'm sleeping, my mouth doesn't move at all. I'm completely relaxed, and I almost don't feel it, and I can almost pretend I haven't got them. And then when I wake up in the morning, it's like, oh, God, I've got these blooming things on that I've got to deal with all day, you know, and deal with as in constantly brushing your teeth putting the wax on taking the wax off not being able to just eat what's in front of you even when we go out the weekend it's like well I better have something to eat you know or drink before I go so that I, because we can't just go out for lunch or that kind of thing and I feel like I'm just kind of getting through each day and and going right I need this four months or six months or whatever to be over and I don't really like that because it feels like you know I'll never get these four months back again and it feel I don't want to just waste it away but at the same time that's kind of how I feel at the moment. I kind of feel like I'm drooling as well when I talk too much, which is really not very nice. Anyway, that's where I'm at at the moment. So I hope that was perhaps a bit interesting. And if any of you guys are thinking of having this done, then at least you know what to expect. I would still, you know, I'm still not considering getting them taken off or not, not persisting with it because I knew that this was going to happen. And actually I heard that my, my sister is going some, through um, a lot of pain at the moment with her teeth. And I thought, well, you know, at least I've chosen this and I've chosen it for cosmetic reasons. So I'm not, I'm not, like I said, I'm not about to give up. I'm going to persevere with it. And I kind of expected to have to go through something like this. So um, it's livable. Thank you very much for joining me today. And I'll see you again very soon.